Good morning, friends. It's Sunday. I believe it's June the 10th or something like that. Not sure. Anyway, um, yesterday was kind of a bust in terms of yard sales, but I did go to a couple of thrift, thrift stores and made out like a bandit. Um, so I'll have to do this in a couple of parts. These uh, driftwood... Candle holders. I got. I did get these at uh, a yard sale for fifty cents. I thought they would look cute on the patio with um, a candle in them. And uh, then I went to uh, the the thrift store that sells by the pound. And I'll show you a couple of things I got there. Um, this isn't all of it. So the first thing I wanted to show you. Well, we'll get these out of the way. So I got these wooden pairs. Um, they'll make a nice decor item. So the way that buy the pound works is um, you gather up everything you want, you put it on a scale, and then they charge you um, 88 cents a pound for um, whatever you purchase. So that works out to about a nickel an ounce. I got this piece of very dirty um, milk glass. I got one similar to this in my last haul. This little cottage I thought was cute. It has a, a lid. There's nothing wrong with it. So it does have a price tag on it because these are items that were priced for the MCC thrift shops and then when they didn't sell um, they got moved over to the, the pound the by the pound store. Um, but it's uh, marked, sorry, Otagiri 1980. I got this, it's just a lid, but it's a Pyrex lid, and I thought this was really unusual. So it's glass all the way, it, it's not um, it's not pierced through. Um, so I'm sure I will find a py piece of Pyrex that this goes on, but if you recognize this lid, help me out and let me know what it goes to. Got this butter dish. It has um, raspberries and leaves, and this little twig of a handle. And it looks like it's Japanese, um, but the uh, the mark has been really worn off. I thought at first it was like one of those home ceramics. So I was surprised to see it was marked, but all right, I'm really impressed with this tiny little teapot. It's looks like leaves um, at the top. It's not marked. And again, it's got sort of this little twiggy handle, but look at the shape of it. Isn't that unusual? Um, so that will fit very nicely on a shelf and it's an excellent shape. There's no chips. I am in serious light with that. Uh, I don't even remember getting this, but it's just this little little pitcher, very uh, farmhouse chic. Got a pair of these milk glass mugs. They're marked um, federal. Not sure if that's coming in. Got the wrong glasses on. Also got this milk glass mug with the oranges on it. The image is in really good shape. Um, it's a, a Termocrisa, so that's uh, Mexican, I think, right? Um, I got this old coffee can. It had some jar lids in it or something, but I just emptied the jar lids and took the can. At first I thought this was a sugar sugar jar um, but again this has got um, berries and leaves and it's in excellent shape and and got sort of this twiggy sort of handle thing but it's actually a clock and it's marked Minton it's called Victoria strawberry uh, 1999 is the date on that so um, yeah I've been having a field day with strawberry things I think it's beautiful. Um, 
I wish the, the, the frame on the clock was different, but that's okay. So I have to get a battery for that, test it out, make sure it works. Um, and, it's, and it's hollow. So, you know, at 88 cents a pound, even if this weighed a pound and it doesn't, um, I paid less than a dollar for it. And I got these two little shells, um, and they're Wedgwood. And again, they're in excellent condition. Nothing wrong with them. And uh, then I got this triangular casserole dish. I've never seen anything like it. It's not marked. I should move my lamp over here so I've got some light on the subject. It doesn't have any marks at all. Um, I did a little googling last night and um, I mean the store clearly thought it was something good because they put a $10 price tag on it. Uh, we'll see if I can get it cleaned up. I thought this was a chip on the handle but it's not. It's actually that's how it's shaped. So we'll see. We'll see how, how it turns out. It's That's very mid-century modern, wouldn't you say? Um, got this. So this is a, a quilted keeper to put um, china in. So it's got all of the, the separators. See, I, I'm guessing about a dozen cups would go in there. And then this one is for plates. And it's got all of the foam protectors in there. It's brand new. You, it's There's not a nar mark on it. It's never been assembled. It weighs nothing. So I think I got a good deal there. Um, and I got this piece of Pyrex. It has some black marks on it that I'm pretty sure I can clean up. I don't know the name of the pattern. It's in gold. Um, but I'll, I'll do some research. No lid unfortunately, but and last but not least, I got this Vision Wear pot, which I will resell. In fact, I'm going to wash it right now and list it on Facebook. Okay, I'm going to clear off the counter and then we'll be right back. And on to the next bunch of stuff. So some of this is yard sale, some of this is um, a thrift store that I went to, uh, that I go to regularly, but I hardly ever find anything. It's just small. But I hit the mother load there, and their prices are excellent. So I got this uh, little Pyrex uh, casserole. It doesn't have a lid, um, and it's in that uh, Forest Fancies pattern. Um, it's just very petite and cute. I paid $2 for that. This is a, a bigger Pyrex casserole. Again, no lid, but I paid two fifty dollars for that. This was left over from the buy the pound one. I got this bath mat that matches the tile in my bathroom. I live in a rental, so everything is kind of beige. <laughs> um, and it doesn't look like it's ever been washed. Like it feels like it still has, you know, that sizing in it. So it needs to be washed. But uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that find. Um, this was from another thrift store. I got these two linen tea towels. And one is embroidered Thursday and the other one is embroidered Wednesday. Those are the only two they had. Um, they were 50 cents a piece. So I got two for a dollar. And um, I like the colors. The colors, like these aren't, these aren't vintage, but they have that kind of retro uh, color to them. Can you stand any more strawberries? I got this uh, um, pie plate with a recipe for strawberry pie and I paid $1.25 for that. Okay, I need your help here, glass people. What is this? So, um, I'm pretty sure it's Fenton, first of all, because of the ruffled edge. Um, it's not marked. These aren't together, but there's sort of um, a, a depression in the center there of that that uh, 
piece and they do match and it kind of fits in there loosely. Um, I paid $8 for the big piece and $1.75 for the smaller piece. Help me identify this. If you have any ideas, please leave it in the comments. Um, it's in excellent condition, no chips, no cracks, and it's beautiful. I forget what this is called, the candy, something about, mm, have candy on the brain. I got this set of snack plates um, with roses on them, really good condition. There's four plates and three cups, so I have to find another cup. Uh, and I paid three dollars for the whole shebang. Um, I got this little jar and it has um, a little Scotsman there and it's uh, called McDonald of Glencoe so that would be the the tartan I imagine and the other side is Mac yeah that says McDonald and this is MacDonnell of Glengarry. Oops, I'm not even in camera. So it, uh, that's the marking on it. Um, I paid a dollar twenty-five for that. Thought that was cute. Got some vintage cards. So this one is a graduation card with a little silver edge. And it's a hallmark. And um, this one is just a note card. It has uh, images of strawberries on it. Oh, no, it's a get, get well card. <laughs> I thought it was just a note card. Um, I think I'm going to put that in a frog on my uh, um, shelf that I have been putting all my strawberry stuff on. I thought it was really pretty. And uh, I think I paid a dime a piece for those. And these little tags, there's there's uh, three tags on strings in each one. So I've got cats, I've got bears, hearts, um, there's birthday cake. And they are made in England. And I paid 10 cents a piece for those. Um, I don't think they're vintage, but I thought they were cute. I have uh, a plate here. Um, the image, let's get some light on this subject. The image on here is gorgeous. It's in good shape. I like the pierced edging on it, and I paid 50 cents. And it's uh, made in Bavaria. And I think I've mentioned before that I do see a lot of German China, a lot of German and Czechoslovakian. Um, where I live, there's a huge German population. I think this would be really pretty for a spring um, decor with the pink and the lambs and the Victorian ladies. This is marked Woods, and it's a little planter, and it's beautiful. <laughs> has roses on it as well. Oh, well, I, yeah, it's a kind of a full-blown rose, and I paid a dollar twenty-five for that. Um, and again, it's dirty, but it's in excellent shape. No chips. Just have to give that a little scrub. I think it's beautiful. Um, this I got a yard sale. I have a couple of these now. Paid a dollar for it. This I got. Yeah, I paid two dollars for that. And this is uh, Boswear. I see Boswear a lot. I have a lot of green Boswear. I see it in green and pink mostly. I don't know that I've ever seen it in blue. So that was an interesting find for me. Um, I don't like to typically pay more than $5 for a piece of Boseware, so $2 fit right into my budget. Um, it's Canadian, it's very mid-century, 
and I believe it's really collectible. At least at my house, it's very collectible. I got this tall painted picture at a yard sale. Paid more than I wanted to for it. She wanted two dollars. All right. Um, I like the very um, naive, folky, painty. One side had I don't know are those elderberries, some kind of berries, and this side has cherries and blackberries. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was cute. Anyway, and got this little coffee pot. It's in that. Um, oh my gosh, I have totally forgotten the name of this design. Wow. Uh, simple abundance. Maybe that's it. Anyway, it's corningware. I paid a dollar for that at a yard sale. Yep, dollar for that at a yard sale. Um, last two things. These were from that thrift store. This this little plate. I don't know what it is, but I only paid a quarter for it. And it has this really cute cottage on it. Um, it's made in England. And this is restaurant wear. Um, I chose this because of, of the colors. I love this deep cream color with the red stripe. And it's almost like a raspberry pinky red. And it is Buffalo China, made in USA. Um, I've been seeing a ton of hotel and restaurant wear recently. Um, a few, oh, maybe two months ago, there was a collector of restaurant where who had an estate sale and um, I think the leftovers just sort of got divided amongst a bunch of the thrift stores locally uh, the stuff that they couldn't get rid of which is unfortunate because um, it was a huge collection and it, clearly he put a lot of energy and passion into it but um, paying a dollar for this plate was a lot less than I would have paid at his estate sale Anyway, okay, I'm going to clear the counter and we'll be back again with some more. All right, now here we are back with some thrift store finds. Some of these were things that I bought in bags um, where I'm going to donate back a lot of this stuff, but there was one or two things in each bag that I just needed to have. Uh, so I got a, a bag of office supplies, and the only reason I wanted it was for this um, vintage box of paper fasteners. And it's uh, in really good shape, and it's pretty full. Uh, there was another box of paper clips. I don't think they're vintage, but I kind of, I think I'm going to keep them anyway. I my intention wasn't to, um, but uh, they're kind of neat looking, aren't they? So they might make a nice embellishment of some kind. So I'll keep. I might keep those. There was some tax and other stuff in there. I'll donate back, but this was this was the reason I wanted wanted it. I have um, a small collection of vintage office supplies, so this will be adding to my collection. Um, there was some sewing stuff. So um, I like the wooden spools. I especially like ones that have the label still on them. So this will be going to my collection. The rest over here, I'll donate back. They're just, um, I mean, they're good quality. Most of them are really good quality. But uh, I, I hardly ever sew anymore. There was also this uh, hem, hem, uh, yeah, little ruler thing. I, and I never noticed it before. It says gadget or gauge it. Oh, gauge it. Hem gauge, that's what it's called. Wow. I got this pair of salt and pepper shakers that look like lemons. I was thinking I need some lemons to put beside um, the uh, pitcher and and milk glass tumblers that I got last week. Um, they do have their stoppers, which is weird, but that well, this stopper won't stay in. And it says um, made in China on the stoppers. Anyway, they're cute. There were some, um, what do you call those, bobbins as well, but I, I'll donate those back. Um, 
I'm always scared to use bobbins that I didn't buy because if they're, I think it kind of sets your machine off if it, if they don't fit perfectly. I have this rain poncho and I think that's a, a weird um, buy, but I think I'll explain. So I had a coupon to use at Valley Village. If you spend $15, you get $5 off. So I had gotten several things and it added up to like fourteen dollars and ninety cents and I thought well I gotta get something else because there's no way they're gonna let me use the five dollar coupon so this was 99 cents but I can stick it in the car and you know might might need it sometime I got this mug it's uh, pedal wear and I have a small collection of pedal wear in both the peach and um, blue and yellow I've never seen it in a mug before I think it's a beautiful color and the shape is wonderful. I paid a dollar for that. Got this little trinket dish uh, with Holly Hobby on it. Blue takes were 50% off, so I paid a quarter for it. And um, there's no date on it. Sometimes these things are dated, but it's in good shape. Uh, this was another thing where I bought the whole bag but only for this so it's a it's I believe it's an ashtray but um, I love it it says hand decorated it doesn't have any other uh, indication where it was made but it could stand up it could lay down I could even hang it so I'll get that cleaned up I think that's interesting got this set of four grapefruit spoons and they have snowflakes on them. So one of my memories from childhood is Christmas morning having grapefruit section, um, halves for breakfast. Uh, but that's as fancy as we ever got. But that's why I got those. They were a quarter piece. I also got this other spoon and it has a little gnome on it. Uh, here, that's probably as good as it's going to get. A little gnome with a shovel. Uh, I looked for other pieces, but I didn't see any. It was a quarter. Um, and it says uh, WMF. Uh, and I guess the name is Rost Free. R-O-S-T-F-R-E-I. I'll have to look that up and see if there uh, there's other pieces. Um... Okay, all of this stuff I got together in a bag. There's beads and stuff. Um, some little seed beads. Some pearls. Sequins. Uh, but the only reason I got the bag was for these little appliques. They're, they're cloth. Uh, with a little a little bit of embroidery in the center so there's three of those that one's got a little yellow this one's just gold this one's gold and green and this little lace applique and this daisy trim Um, there's a couple of dirty old measuring tapes. Probably wouldn't hurt to keep one and leave it in the car because sometimes I need to measure things. This one's just Engl um, just uh, inches. This one has inches and centimeters. So some of this will be going back, but there's a, a few treats. And oh yeah, I forgot this. This was the most important part. I got uh, this magnifying glass and I think it's a really good uh, quality and as I approach 50 it's getting harder and harder for me to make out these little things on the back of uh, dishes and things so I will absolutely make use of that I already have okay that's it for this one and I've got one more box of stuff hi friends last bit so I have I bought this uh, chenille bedspread it's an excellent excellent shape except it's 
dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, this is actually the back side. Um, I will unfold it outside and take a picture from the porch so you can see what it looks like. Um, I'm taking a chance on this because it weighs a lot. I think I paid just about $10 for it. This was at the Buy by the Pound store. Um, so it's a risk, but I got so many really good deals that I'm, I'm willing to take the risk. We'll see how that comes out. I'll report back. Okay, um, I got this tea towel here. It looks like a sampler, but it's not actually stitched. It's, it's printed as uh, cross stitch. Um, warm friendship like the setting sun sheds kindly light on everyone. I think if I give this a wash and a press, it'll come up really nice. I thought that was very, very cute. I also got a set of, I believe there's one, two, three, six, just plain kind of um, cream colored napkins. Got a couple of needlework kits. So this one is a, a it's a Rosa Sharon quilt and it's a one inch to one foot scale. It's got all of the materials and everything there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I like miniatures. <laughs> And this book has miniatures as well. It's, it has a $3 price take on it, but again, this was all um, by the pound, so ignore the price tags. This has charts to need, do needlepoint uh, rugs and um, screens and things. I thought that was really neat. I like this one. And the last little kit I got was this one. It has the little embellishments and things. Um, got this package of, well this is vintage, I mean it's 25 cents and it has the labels and uh, string and paper. Um, I wonder what those instructions say back there. Anyway, uh, I will use this but I just thought it was uh, really neat to share because of the, the vintage um, packaging. Got these little trims. So this one's rickrack. This one has yellow and gold. And this one is just plain bias tape. Got some vintage photo corners. These two packages are gold, and this one is black. It's stapled closed. There's a list of all the colors that it does come in. Um, got the little salt pepper shakers. So there's a pair that are blue with little roses on them and a pair that are pink. Again, with little roses on them. There, none of them are, have um, stoppers, and the pink set is marked made in Japan, so we can guess. Got this little porcelain spoon. Um, you know, I often find little pieces that have a slot for a spoon, so I, I'll just keep this on hand. Um, this will be part of my uh, vintage office collection. It's um, the Hughes Owens Company, made in the USA, and this is three-sided. Another milk glass cup. This one's for Nova Scotia. It has a lobster on it. Here's a little tea strainer spoon, so you would Put your tea in there and then put it in your mug. Um, I, I really like this. This uh, will go in with my other vintage sewing things, I think. So this is uh, Fine Bone Ch China, made in England. And it's kind of got this leatherette crocodile fake 
um, outside and it has a tiny little thimble in there with violets maybe and yeah I thought that was nice I, you never see these in the box do you a little sticker on there I'll have to take off uh, okay I got some plates. These are definitely going to be for resale. So this one, these two top ones, they are uh, Fitz and Floyd and it's 1975 and they are in excellent shape. At one time they were priced for 15, then they were 50% off and I got them for pennies. The next one I got, I got a set of four of these. And this is, um, I believe, an egret. And again, Fitz and Floyd. Yeah, it is. Egret. Uh, Fitz and Floyd, 1981. So I have a set of four of those. So these are going to be resold immediately. And I love the, the pastel colors. I'm keeping this wrapped in bubble wrap because you know I am terrible about um, not dropping things and chipping things so but the pastel colors and the, the image itself is just really gorgeous I know that there's Fitz and Floyd collectors out there okay I'm gonna take my camera off here so you can get a better look at this so this is uh, not vintage, it's modern, I would I would say, but it's definitely handmade. So it has the decanter with the, the lid and um, these beautiful wine glasses. And there's all kinds of bubbles in here. This one isn't a good example. Um, they're all in good sh good shape, though. Yeah, there's you can see some bubbles in there. They're all in really good shape. No chips, no cracks yet. <laughs> um, and I got this at the Buy the Pound store, and I had um, the girl weigh this separately, so I paid less than four dollars for that whole set. Um, again, this one I'm going to list right away and post for sale. I'm not sure how much I'll ask for it. It's uh, it's beautiful. Anyway, that's it for today, and I hope you had a great weekend. We will be back in touch soon. Take care.